a lot of times in my playing I'll incorporate um, pivot points between kind of um, boxes, if you will. So if I'm in B flat and I have my pentatonic scale, and I extend that scale upwards on, say, the top three strings, so it goes something like this. Um, you know, kind of a tonality that you hear a lot in the blues. So, for example, if I'm kind of in B flat and I'm kind of rocking out up here, and I'm like, and how, well, how do I get back to my B flat? Well, that's kind of where my pivot points come in. Um, and what it basically entails is a lot of large jumps using my G string. So. By doing that, I'm automatically, I go from here back to the B flat. So let me play that again slowly for you and explain what I'm doing. I, I go. So you can see that there's a, a jump of actually two whole steps from here. Back to my back to my B flat um, pentatonic position, and that's kind of how I get around. Actually, it works really well for octaves too. So if I'm in in G and I'm up here above the above the twelfth fret playing the octave of the of the same uh, scale shape, again I'll use my my G string um, and make a huge leap from octave to octave, and that creates. Uh, it creates kind of an interesting um, contrast because it's, it's just a huge jump from one octave to the other, so... That kind of a thing. So, be, it really does revolve around my G-string. So. And uh, it typically works pretty well. You hear a lot of other players doing it too. Um, Stevie was pretty big on it, like on Voodoo Child, he, you know... That kind of kind of thing where he'd make these huge jumps to add a little bit of uh, interest in the solo.